In Paris, it is do or die for several U.S. Olympians and teams. Noah Lyles will run the 200-meter semifinal today. The men's basketball team faces Brazil in the quarterfinals. Both men's and women's beach volleyball teams will play quarterfinal matches. And the women's soccer team, they will face Germany in the semifinal. Yesterday, Simone Biles and Suni Lee fell short of meddling in the beam event, this after each falling during their routine. Files would later earn silver in the floor exercise final. Lee spoke to CBS News about how she's feeling after competing in Paris. I'm feeling good. I'm really happy with how everything went. And I'm glad that it's over, though. <laughs> Are you? Yeah, I didn't end on the best note, which I'm a little sad about. But um, I gave him my all, and that's all that matters. CBS News Saturday morning co-host and CBS News and sports correspondent Dana Jacobson has the latest from Paris. Dana, good morning. Good morning. Women's gymnastics wrapped up with three of the best atop the podium. Simone Biles and her teammate Jordan Childs took silver and bronze in the floor exercise, while Rebecca Andrade of Brazil was atop with the gold, the first ever all black podium in women's gymnastics. And we've talked so much about Simone Biles. She leaves these Olympics with 11 total Olympic medals. She took four home from these games. Three of them were gold, one silver medal. Last night in the pole vault, all eyes on Mondo. This is an American born, but competing for Sweden athlete. And what Mondo did was break his own pole vault world record. His height, 6.25 meters. To give you some perspective, that's 20 feet, six inches. That's taller than a giraffe would be. The silver medal went to another Team USA member. That was Sam Kendricks taking that silver medal. In surfing overnight, Carolyn Marks of Team USA, the 22-year-old, captures the gold in Tahiti. She summed up what so many Olympians are thinking. She said, it's beyond all of my wildest dreams. Later today here in Paris, watch for Gabby Thomas in the women's 200 meter final. Thomas, one of the favorites in the event, but she's going to have to watch out for Julian Alfred of St. Lucia, who captured the gold in the 100 meter, her country's first ever medal at the Olympic Games. Chanel, back to you. Dana, thank you.